Well, Henry Coyle came into the auditorium to the strains of the Saw Doctors and the green and red of Mayo, and that certainly has whipped up the crowd inside the arena here. Henry, very much the home favourite, known as the Western Warrior, up against Hungary's Sandor Ramoxa, who's lost nine of his professional fights, but he's never been stopped. By contrast, Henry Coyle has a very good record when it comes to knockouts. Of his 12 wins, 10 have come by way of knockout. He has lost twice in his professional career, both knockouts as well. But this has the makings of a very spicy encounter, Dave Boy. Yep, he's a real good, tough customer, Henry Coyle. No shortage of support here for the uh, man from Mayo, who's uh, very proudly got the Mayo crest emblazoned on his shorts. For uh, Sandor Remox, a very much a case of coming into the lion's den here at Brafie and Castle Bar. Then using the job. Also <coughs> keeping his uh, guard high. Didn't really trouble Coyle with any of those punches. But it's been a positive start to the fight from uh, Henry Coyle here, the Western Warrior. 29 years of age against uh, Sandor Ramoxa, age 33. Well, what a start and almost a, what a finish to the opening round from Coyle. Well, it's been a very confident performance so far from the Western warrior, Henry Coyle. He has uh, taken the fight to the Hungarian. He's had his uh, fair share of problems over the past while, Coyle. Lost to uh, Neil Sinclair in their middleweight title fight at the Odyssey in Belfast in May of last year. And Really, the last year has, he's been troubled by injuries. It's been a difficult time, but here in front of the home support in Castle Bar, he's put in a very fine night's work so far. I just heard instructions from his corner, I think, from his father, Jerry. Keep the defense tight, because the trainer can see, as father can see, that, uh, that uh, Ramoska is still dangerous, he's still solid, he's still very strong. Well, I just heard them saying as they left the corner there for this round, keep your defence tight, which is sound advice. Well, he has fought uh, some quality fights in his career, the visitor. Moxka fought the uh, former European champion Christian Sanavia. Also went toe-to-toe -to -toe with former world champion Emmanuel De La Rosa. He lost uh, both bouts, but clearly at this stage of his career very experienced coming here to a uh, castle bar he would have known what kind of what he was in for and as dave boy says and his dad says Boyle has to be careful and so far he's fought the fight on his terms which is what you need to do get uh, drawn into a, a slugging match The way I look at it is when you're in the ring and you've got, and you've got boxing skills better th than your opponent, well then you put these into operation. If you want to fight and you want to please the crowd, mix things up, then that's where you hit the danger zone. You want to be where you feel comfortable. And uh, right now, in my opinion, where Henry Coyle feels comfortable is boxing this guy, good solid combinations, moving in, moving out, and not getting too involved in a brawl. And he's having great success. There's no reason to change that. Of course, uh, Ramoska remains a very live and dangerous opponent. Coyle just has to maintain the kind of work rate, the kind of combinations that have served him well so far in this fight. Approaching the end of round five. Certainly so far at least, despite uh, taking so many body shots, Ramoska shows uh, no sign of being worn down. He's had to uh, dig deep. Coyle going about the fight in the manner he hoped. He tried to finish this uh, fifth round with a flurry. Good response though from Ramoska. Shaping up to be a really fine finish to this fight. And Coyle is absolutely cock a hoop at the moment. So three rounds to go here for uh, Henry. Western Warrior Coyle against uh, Sandor Ramoska. It's been a fascinating fight between these two so far. The style of uh, Henry Coyle. And 
the uh, tough stance of uh, Ramoxka who's uh, taken all that uh, Coil has given so far but it's really been the approach that's been impressive from Coil so far plenty of variety in his punches not being drawn into a, a slugfest good right as well from Coil early in this sixth round Sandor Ramoxka from Hungary, never been stopped in his professional career, and you can see why here this evening. Certainly proving to be teak tough so far. Well, again, goes left and right, but he has to be careful. Good body shot with the left from Coyle. I know, I know, sir, I, I know Ramoska's uh, record doesn't suggest that, that he's uh, a devastating puncher, but you can tell here, I can tell here, he's a real good solid puncher and he can really badly hurt you with, with one punch. He might not, not get clean out with one punch, but he can really badly hurt you with one clean punch. So therefore, you have to be careful, plus the fact that he's incredibly strong, and he's incredibly durable. He's been caught with some real good solid body shots and some uh, decent uh, head shots and he's still there, he still wants to fight you know, and he's still full of grit. So you have to be very, very, very careful with, it, with an opponent like uh, Ramoska. Yeah, so far he's shown uh, no signs of waning in this fight. Early on the uh, omens weren't particularly encouraging, but he's stood his ground so far and has managed to uh, take all that Coyle has had to offer. the hope from uh, the coil campus after such a great start that they could really press home their advantage but as I say Romoxka isn't one for uh, shirking the challenge <coughs> some notes of left and right uh, to the body of that coil and just needs to be wary a stylish and accomplished boxer Coil Ramoxka, by contrast, a real contrast in size, really. Ramoxka is a gritty warrior, <coughs> taking on the Western warrior here in Castlebar. <laughs> Just uh, some signs in this round that Coil is beginning to uh, tire himself. A lot of effort early on. And he uh, skips back to his corner. So two rounds to go between Henry Coyle and Sandor Ramoxka in what has been a captivating fight by and large so far. Ramoska, well, you have to give him enormous credit. He has uh, managed to uh, stay with Coyle. He's had to uh, ship a fair few blows during the course of this fight, but he has stood firm. He's stocky, very tough fighter. But you have to give Ramoska uh, credit too, you know, because, it, like, uh, Coyle hasn't got through a real clean head shot because Coyle can bang and if he get through a real good clean head shot he would do a lot of damage. He's getting some really good body shots on but they're not as clean and uh, hitting the target 100% as what he had like. So you have to give uh, Ramoska credit. He's got a great defence upstairs and it's 95% water tight downstairs but fair use to Coyle too because he can get the punches through but you know they're not getting through 100% cleanly, which means you know the, the stings being taken out of them by the elbow being moved slightly down or the you know the, the glove. But uh, you have, to, as I said, you have to give Ramoska a, a lot of credit because he, he's, he's taking a, a real good uh, pacing here and he's still there. And I can tell you that Coyle can punch, therefore, even though they're not getting through, they'll still be sore. Coyle, the man from Gisala near Belmullet, but based in Chicago. So many of his fights have been in the US, but. There is something special about fighting in front of your home crowd. And there's plenty of support here for Coyle. And they're getting behind him once again. And Coyle is beginning to find the range once again. Ramoska just refuses to bow the knee. Standing his ground in the middle of the ring. Coyle coming forward, sticking out that jab. danger with uh, Ramoxka that he will try and 
just unleash those flurry of punches. He just needs one to get lucky. You can see uh, with uh, you know, the, the combinations that uh, Ramosk is throwing, that even though they're not hitting the target, they've got a par there. So if they did get through, they could do a bit of damage. But uh, Koj got a good defence himself. But you, you have to be careful. Even at this stage of the fight, even though we're in that penultimate round, you still need your defence watertight. Real glare from Ramoska as the uh, decibel level went up a notch or two here in Castle Bar. <coughs> Well determined to put on a show for the home support here. Ramoska fighting to the bitter end. Coyle missing. Both boxers beginning to tire, not surprisingly. But it's been a really controlling contest. For our final round, a wave of the arms from the Western warrior, Henry Coyle. And it's certainly been a fight which has entertained between these two. Great style and quality about uh, Coyle's boxing technique against the uh, more durable and rugged style that is Sandor Ramoska from Hungary. Coyle needs to be careful in the last round here. A very encouraging start to this final round from Ramoska. And as I see, you can still see a bit of power there. You, there's strength, there's power. So, like, even though it's the last round, you don't want to take your foot off the accelerator. You don't want to get too complacent. Keep the hands well up, just keep doing what you've been doing the previous seven rounds. Stay out of danger. If it's not broken, you don't fix it. Coyle determined to return home, a winner. No doubt about it, he would love to uh, finish this one inside the distance. But you have to give Ramoska huge credit for the way he has stood tough here. It's been easy coming into uh, Castle Bar for the Hungarian, so much support, backing Henry Coyle, and Ramoska has fought his fight. And all those uh, body shots that uh, Coyle has unleashed, particularly in the, the early rounds, and despite his best efforts, Ramoska has uh, stood firm here. Less than 90 seconds uh, to see this one out, but Coyle, is there going to be a late flourish from him? Defense from Coyle, and he let go of the left as well, and a good left to the body. And letting go of the uh, head shots from Oscar returning with interest. I'll tell you, it's been a pretty uh, like, uh, tough fight here for Coyle and for Oscar, but. Coyle, he's, he's very fit because he still looks to me like he, he can do an all, he can do 12 rounds. So he, he looks like he's got loads left in the tank. But certainly Ramoska has grown into this fight. And he unleashed something in the closing seconds of this one. He needs to be careful with the uh, head there, that's the warning from the referee Emil Tiet. Is there going to be one last charge here from Henry Coyle? Again, lands the left to the body. And it's been a very entertaining contest, Dave, for this. Yeah, it's been good. It's been all action the whole way through. Uh, and I can see a big improvement in Henry Coy's uh, fight game from, from the last time that I commentated on him two years ago. He thinks more, he looks where his shots are going, you know, he boxes more. Like he's just a better all-round fighter. So I think the two years since I've last seen him, there's been a hell of, a, of an improvement. He's a far better fighter than, than what I first seen. And, Good luck to him, and uh, I think the world is his oyster, as they say. He keeps us up. Well, the two boxers embrace in the middle of the ring. Henry Coyle celebrates. Well, we'll get confirmation of victory very, very shortly. What an absorbing contest between Henry Coyle and the Hungarian Sandor Ramoska. Ladies and gentlemen, the end of a good round of boxing. The referee scoreboard reads uh, Sandor Ramoska 72 points, Henry Coyle 80 points, the winner. Well, they're Coyle. raising the rafters in Castle Bar. Victory for Henry Coyle, a winner on points, win number 13 of his professional career, and a fine one, too.